What up, man? It's your big buck, K. Reno, man. Um, I want to speak on a on a statement that we hear a lot, a lot from people, and um, I don't want to say that people are, are not sincere when they say it, because it ain't far be it for me to try to to judge somebody's um, intentions and morals like I'm perfect, because I know I'm not. But um, when people say um, God is still working on me. God's still working on me. Um, and, you know, they might be true. That may be true. I, I think that God does uh, work on us uh, in, in, in his way and in his manner and at times. And there are certain things that uh, uh, he works with us on and works on us with. But we also have to be very careful to not let that become an excuse for us to keep being however it is that we're being we meaning all of us um so when we say god is working still working on me it's like okay well you know that's kind of just like a, a stamp to say okay well, i'll go out and, and and get drunk and start a fight at the club tonight but don't worry because god's still working on me don't, don't hold it against me <laughs> and, and again like i say it, it's not to judge what nobody does because um that's something we can all name that, that we are guilty of and, and things that we do. But um, regardless of God is working on you or not, you have to make sure and we have to make sure that we're working on ourselves. We got to make sure we're working on ourselves. We, you know, we can't just put it all on the man above. We have to put in our work to work on ourselves. And make that a part of our um, routine, our daily routine, and, and, and make that become a, um, a discipline for us to where we are constantly aware that um, self-improvement has to be made. Because we'll get too complacent, we'll get too lazy, and we'll get too caught up in um, making excuses. And years and years and years and years will pass and we'll still be at, at the same place. Um, if we're lucky, because uh, sometimes you run the risk of being in a lower place, and that's that's what you don't want. So you don't want to look up and you've been saying that God been working on you since 97, and now it's 2024, and you still that's still your narrative. Um, give him some help give him some assistance and, and and not that he needs our assistance but i'm just saying it like that uh because no one's more qualified outside of him to accelerate our improvement process than us we even try to put it on other people that time we'll put it on on the preacher the minister we'll put it on um, a friend or a family member, somebody who may seem to have their stuff together, um, because it's not always about, I would say, uh, morals, things of that nature, moral principles. It's not always about that. It could be about um, just life moves, not getting up and doing things for yourself and working to get better and, and, uh, going after goals and dreams and improving your, your lifestyle in that manner and we, we we let other people we use excuses to where we why other people are at fault that we have not done that and that's that's a mistake that we make a lot well nah man you know my uncle was supposed to help me and my uncle was supposed to call a man for me to help me get on and nah, nah, nah you know and just all these different things that we, we like to say and when initiative, taking the initiative ourselves, ourselves, um, I would say 80% of the time is always the better move. You know, that's not to dismiss that somebody can make a call and get you in or somebody can, you know, hook you up or that you are ready and, the, and somebody has to kind of plug you in. They haven't done that yet. That happens. You know, you we really was ready, but... For the most part, I think that we, meaning all of us, uh, we will fall back on those types of statements as excuses uh, to not make it happen for ourselves. 
and um, we can't be afraid to uh, to fail, and we can't be afraid that people will uh, look at us um, differently if we fail. You know, a lot of people don't like to go forward and push forward because they're worried about what other folks are going to say. They're worried about what somebody else is going to say if you happen to fall short or if you happen to not accomplish your goal on that attempt. Um, we strive, we should strive for perfection, but, you know, we totally know that um, we're not there. We're not even close. But the mindset should always be to strive and, and reach for that, to go for that perfection, that, to try to reach that goal of perfection. And, um, but also to know that in, in a, in a 48 minute game, you know, if you take 20 shots, you're going to miss some of them unless you just on fire. You're going to miss some shots, man. So don't get caught up if the first two shots of the game, you went up for the layup and you missed a point blank layup and the crowd is, ah, or the, and then the next shot, you shot an air ball and everybody's going, air ball, air ball. Don't get caught up in that. You're hearing the noise around you because by the end of the game, you took 20 shots, you end up making 12 of them. So you're shooting a good percentage. Focus on your percentage. Focus on um, letting <clears throat> your good outweigh your bad at the end of the day. Focus on making sure that the good things you do surpass any of your shortcomings and, and make sure that that's a, a constant focus. So you're working on yourself as you're doing that. You're working on yourself. And when you, when you implement that kind of discipline, then I think it's, it's one of the first steps. I'm saying it's everything, but it's one of the first steps to making yourself better. But don't put it all on God. Don't put it out. Well, he ain't, he ain't, he, he ain't through with me yet. He ain't through. Okay, well, he might not be through with you, but the question is, when are you gonna get even get started on you? He already in there. You ain't even got. You ain't clocked in yet. So, just want to pass that on to y'all, man, and um, hope y'all take it to heart. It's your big brother K Reno. I'll catch y'all a little bit later on. Peace and love.